good day class. Uh, you are welcome to REL 105, Religion and Human Value. Uh, we've been, over the past few weeks, we've been able to discuss human values and types of values. And last week, we were able to examine some uh, human values as examples of human values. We were able to take honesty and love. I told you that honesty is being sincere. And I told you that honesty is not the same as being uh, truthful. I told you that honesty to me is much more valuable than uh, truthfulness. And I told you that when we talk about honesty, we talk about something that is very difficult to do. I told you that it's almost impractical. And though when you are honest, and people know you to be an honest person, then you are a very, very uh, good person and your values must be of a very high uh, esteem. Then I told you about love. I'll give over that too. I told you that love is one of the universal values. And I told you that uh, love is the mother of all positive values. When you see most positive, uh, positive values, you see it with the altar or traces of uh, love. You cannot be loyal when you don't love. You cannot be faithful when you cannot care for, care for others when you don't love. These are the things we see in love and make us to believe that uh, love is the mother of all positive uh, values and all religions teach love they teach love they preach love uh, let's move on to today i would like to move on from there to discuss another very important uh, example of human values and that is fairness fairness to be fair is to be just. Yeah, it's to be just. When I talk about uh, fairness, it's when you are just to people or to everyone, not considering the age, the beliefs, sexual orientation, and the likes. And when I talk about fairness, you are talking about equal. When you deal with equality, equity, that is when you deal with people equal. When you deal with people equal, that is, you are not partial. You are not biased and you don't discriminate. When you discriminate against people, then you are not being fair. A discrimination or indiscrimination, which we are going to treat some other time as another form of value, is sometimes taken or uh, used interchangeably with uh, fairness. Fairness is the impartial and equal treatment of everyone. So I've said, without considering the age, considering the race, considering the, uh, the physical appearance, the beliefs or social, uh, sexual orientation. Uh, you agree with me that fairness is lacking in our society. Fairness is lacking and that's why our justice system is poor. In Nigerian society, we see people discriminating against one another, either by gender, or by physical appearance. It is very difficult to see uh, the family gender be given the same uh, fair airing and status as the male gender. You will agree with me that even uh, in the corridor of powers and even in academics, we see more male. We see males doing well, doing better being recognized than the female counterpart. In Nigeria educational system, we've had maybe two or three female VCs that's that chased us in universities. And we've seen several male, we've seen several men being vice chancellor. Is it that the male counterparts are not as brilliant or intelligent as the female? No, because uh, people relegate the female in this part, uh, this part of the world, we acknowledge and respect the female, I mean the male gender, than the female gender. For example, you see people going for work, you see two same qualified or candidates applying for a job, and mostly you see the men being uh, employed and not the, the, the women, the ladies. Why? Because they believe that men have much time to do what they have to do than the, uh, the ladies. They believe that with time, marriage, and 
children, that's mother would, would distract them from their job. Even in banking system, in banking system, you see them, the, the female uh, counterpart being given years to stay on the job before they can think of marriage. That's discrimination. Same cannot be done to men, but you see this being applied to women and not the men for that is discrimination. That is injustice. That is not fair. So, so we, as human value, fairness is very, very important. For us to have good human relations, for us to have a good society, there is the need for there to be uh, fairness, justice, and equity. And when we explain equity, we need to be very, very, we need to be very, very careful. Some of us believe that when people are given the same thing at the same time, that is when we talk about equity. No, when we talk about equity, you are talking about giving, giving a group of people what they need at the appropriate time. For example now, it will be inappropriate to give 10 students the same wrap of pounded yam. Okay, let's say we have 10 students in class and you now give them three, 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 uh, wrap, wraps of inyo or what we call give them the same number. That's not to us. That we may say, okay, that's being being fair. That's equity, but no, that's not it. Now it's possible for number one candidates or students to not eat more than two wraps, and number two, maybe a wrap, but number three students may need maybe five wraps of pounded yam. Now you giving three three to all the students, that is not equity. That is not equity. Equity will be giving the students the number of pounded yam wraps according to how they can consume it. That is equity. You giving them the same wraps does not make it uh, you being fear and you being uh, being, not being biased. So the best way to treat that is getting to know the desire and wants of an individual before actually giving it to them. So it would be wrong for the Senate of Nigeria to give a contract of millions of naira to the North Road, I'm talking about road now, giving a contract of road construction to the North. They don't need it like Lagos, a metropolitan city and very populated uh, city. And let's take a look at, uh, let's use this COVID-19 thing as an example. Now, Lagos and Abuja seems to be the epic center of this COVID-19. It would be very foolish and stupid of the federal government to give 10 billion, 10 billion naira to all the states of the federation, not considering the fact that Lagos, Abuja, and Kano may need it more than Nazarawa, which is having just a, a, a patient of COVID-19. Now, to share the money, maybe the thirty-six billion dollars uh, uh, loan, to share it among the federal states, there is the need to share it using equity, and the best way to do that is consider the need of the state. So, when you talk about equity or fairness, you are talking about consider the need of individual or group of people. When we talk about indiscrimination, indiscrimination is a positive value, as fairness is a positive value, as uh, equity is a positive value. Now we have the negative aspect of it. The negative aspect of it is discrimination, which will be, which will be negative, bias, which will be negative, and prejudice, which will be negative. All these are synonymous, they are synonymous as uh, injustice, prejudice, bias, and uh, discrimination. Because they, they, they tend towards taking something to be better off than the other. Leaning towards something at the detriment of the other. And you see that in race. You see the blacks being discriminated on by the whites. You see the whites discriminating against the white, I mean, the white discriminate against the black. You even see the Chinese, the Asians, discriminate against the black. We have one recently where Africans in China 
were being sent out of, of, of their hotels, of their homes during this COVID-19 uh, pandemic, discriminating against the black. Even the, some of them were not allowed to shop. McDonald's apologized to blacks, to the Africans, because the McDonald's restaurants in China discriminate against the blacks. And you see discrimination everywhere. You see ed uh, educated elites discriminating against the literate. You see the, the, the rich discriminating. It is, it is cultural. It is, it's, 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 a, you know, it's a universal phenomenon. It's everywhere. Discrimination is everywhere. You see discrimination everywhere. You see the, the, the people at the upper class discriminating against the people at the lower class. Even in mundane things, you see discrimination, you see injustice, you see unfairness everywhere. These are negative values that are inherent in uh, in women. And these are human values that determines how we relate in the society. There is the need for us to understand these values. We understand these values, we know how to relate in society, we know how to call those that are negative and to improve on the positive. From here, we move on to another one, which is loyalty. We move on to loyalty. Loyalty is another very important human value. Loyalty is from the word Goya which means to be, steadfast, to, be steadfast, to be steadfast in allegiance to duty. When you are loyal to an individual or you are loyal to a cause, you are steadfast. You are when you are loyal, is loyal is, is a blind trust. When you are loyal to a person, you are loyal absolutely. Nothing, nothing can move you from what you are loyal to. You are steadfast. When you are steadfast, you are you are you are you are trusting. When it is to a friend, you don't backbite, you don't talk, any, you don't say anything negative about the, the friend. You, you hold on to your belief, and even you can be loyal to your religion. When you're loyal to your religion or to your uh, denomination, nothing, nothing, no one can move you from that loyalty, no one can move you from being steadfast to your beliefs and your, or your understanding about that particular person or cause. Some people believe that loyalty is not actually a value, but it's a sentiment. As I've said, it's a blind trust. When you are loyal to an individual, you don't want to hear anything negative about the person. You don't want to think negative about the person. You are, you are just stick to it. And that's why some believe it's sentimental. That is not objective. That that kind of value, that expression should not be taken as value, but as sentimental. I leave that to you to know. You can comment at the comment section to tell me if you think that loyalty is a sentiment or a value. I'm turning it open for discussion. What do you think? Do you think loyalty is a value or a sentiment? With that, we conclude a few of the types of human values that we're going to discuss uh, during the course of this uh, course. And I want you to go over these lectures do a little bit of research of your own to get more values, that more human values, more examples of human values, and study them to know more about them. We cannot just the time, time and space do not allow us to cheat everything here. So I expect you to go back and examine uh, the 418 that I told you that we are as examples of human values.